We're adding a bunch of accessories like light bars and ditch lights and refrigerators and all that kind of fun stuff. Well, um, I don't want to make the battery look really bad, so I'm going to add this really cool fuse box here. And this is really neat. Uh, it's got a little cap here and some stickers with labels and then fuses. But um, basically, you have one wire that goes from the battery to the positive, and then one wire from the negative to the negative side of the battery or anywhere where there's ground. And then you get six uh, ports here, six hot ports and then six ground ports, which is really nice. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, for my uh, switch panel that I have here for my um, ditch lights. So I'm gonna use this one for my driver ditch light and then this one for the center lower grill light and then also this one's gonna be for my right ditch light and then this one is gonna be for a, a random accessory later on maybe a light that's in the back of the truck or something let's do a quick uh, wiring diagram here so you got your battery here from positive to positive and then for one light it goes here all the way from here to the switch and then the switch to the here and then here to uh, your hot wire and then you know you flip it on you flip your switch on it'll always be hot on the back here until you flip it on and then you'll get electricity all the way through and then you flip it off and then the electricity stops here but it always will be hot from here on through so no matter what this will always be hot so let's go ahead and get started all right so a good tip to fish a wire through this little section is I use a nice long Phillips head and I already have a hole poked through uh, from my subwoofer so all I'm gonna do is just uh, poke it through so went ahead and got my LED ditch light up there and I'm getting everything ready to be crimped so go ahead and crimp this on here give a little test pull looks good and keep in mind this red wire is actually the same cord so if I go ahead and plug this to the power and had a ground it would be lit so what I'm gonna do on the inside is actually just cut it and then put the switch in the middle all right to pop this panel out go ahead and stick your flathead right here and I already got it all loose but you stick your flathead right there and it comes out nice and easy and you'll have this compartment in here and there's just four screws on each corner. Just use a Phillips and unscrew it and it pops out super easy. Now for the uh, cord, you can see it just looped around and actually got damaged a little bit uh, when I pushed it through. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that off. So this one is gonna be my driver's side ditch light. This is gonna be my center 28 inch light bar. And then this will be the uh, passenger ditch light. And then this will be for something else in the future. And so now all I'm gonna do is put the, all, the hot side on that's connected to the fuse box on the low one where it says off. Everything's tight. Now, if I connected this to the battery terminal, I'd have 12 volts going straight to the switch, but I'm not gonna do that yet. So I went ahead and loosened this screw. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this on here like so. I'm gonna use my Phillips. Feels good. All right, now 10 amps is plenty here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in there. Now in terms of mounting here, you know, you can basically put it anywhere in the engine bay you like, but I'm thinking right here is gonna be nice. And just double check, you know, your screw's not going to go through your fender or anything crazy or drilling through some uh, wires. Besides that, um, I think I'm clear and I'm going to go ahead and screw it in. So I went ahead and took my sub off, cut this off, and then merged them together so it, it's a lot cleaner so I don't have two of these connected here. And imagine it is connected. I'm not gonna connect it because I don't want 12 volts running through my wire, but I'm gonna go ahead and wire it around this fuse box and over to my fuse box. And I think that is plenty of wire. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, maybe give me another inch. Cut. Splice. Twist. And crimp. Test pull. Go ahead and put it on the big plus sign here. Make it look nice and clean. Put the lock nut washer on. And then put the nut on. And then same thing with the negative terminal. Oh, it's good there. Bring it around, connect it to the black part on the bottom. Don't drop your, don't drop your lock nut washer or your nut. Go ahead and tighten it on the terminals. So even though I just wired the ground to the new fuse box, you don't necessarily need to use that. I'm gonna go ahead and just ground right here I mean it works perfect I just took the screw out right there and um, it's gonna work flawlessly so there's no reason for me to waste some expensive copper wire if uh, it just works perfectly right here so I'm gonna go ahead and crimp test pull screw on Here's a quick review of the entire system. We have the power connected right here with my subwoofer, and then the cord goes all the way through to the positive terminal here. I have six different terminals for six different accessories. I have a 10 amp fuse for my ditch light, my, just my driver's side ditch light. The wire goes through the firewall up to my switch panel, and then I goes up to a single switch, comes back, all the way up to my light back through the negative side and I have it grounded here but if I wanted to I could ground it on one of these six negative terminals but I just don't really need to do that so let's go ahead and test it out see if it works flip the switch on and would you look at that we have light which is really cool can go ahead and flick it off really nice go ahead and put all four screws on on all four corners you got a little bit of wiggle room to center it where you want now one more thing why did I pick toggle switches and I actually took this out from you know aviation a lot of cockpits have toggle switches but for my main reason is one they're compact so i was able to fit four instead of two or three you know bigger switches but these toggle switches are really nice so when you're driving you can just put your hand over here and you can feel it and you can actually identify which toggle switch you want to turn on you know i can look at you and i can just flip on you know the second to the left just by feeling you know these four toggle switches so it's really easy to identify which switch you're actually switching on and off without even looking at it so you don't have to take your eyes off the road that's the thing that i really like about these they also look really cool i mean come on you're flipping on like a you know jet engine or something like that it's kind of neat and this is going to work for all of your led lights or different equipment and stuff like that so if you want to put on you know different ditch lights or like a lower grill LED light bar or refrigerator or whatever kind of thing you want with a switch in it, this entire wiring system will work out. Um, I did spend a lot of time on designing that part, that little control panel. So if you like that, check the link below and feel free to subscribe. I can't wait to see what all of you are gonna do with the switch panel. And uh, thank you for watching.